Okay, well, we will go ahead. You good? I'm good. All right. Well, we will go ahead and get started. I'd like to welcome the winner of the 2022 Worldwide Technology Championship at Mayakoba, Russell Henley. Russell, congratulations on a really amazing week. 23 under 261, is that right? 23 under 261. Can't remember. 25 birdies and just two bogeys. Uh, incredible. With that, just a few thoughts on collecting your fourth career PGA Tour title. Uh, yeah, it's surreal to hear you say that. Um, I, I, you know, you always have doubts of if am I going to win again. Um, you know, I've had a lot of tournaments where I haven't gotten it done, and so sorry. You're fine. Um, this one, um, this one's really special. You know, to be leading by six, which is my largest 54 hole lead, I'm sure, um, and to just play solid today and 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 get it done is uh, gives me a lot of confidence. Um, I'm really excited, really thankful, um, and yeah, I don't know what to say. It's just surreal. You, this was your fifth start here at Mayakoba, and and haven't had an entire successful past four starts. Was there something different? Was it just you and how you were playing? Did the course feel different? What was the difference that you could maybe put a finger on? Yeah, um, I've always felt like I could play well here. Um, I think I've been at a little bit of a interesting spot with my game um, other years. One of the years I was playing pretty well after two days and ended up getting basically disqualified. So um, the, the track record may look a little better if you add that week in. Um, but yeah, I, I think I, you know, golf's just really hard. And this week I felt like I was confident off the tee and I felt like I had a, um, my putting stroke was working well. So. Um, just kind of rode the wave, and um, here we are. Okay. Well, with that, we'll take a few questions. And if you just put, we'll start with Adam, and just put your hand up so, with the light so I can see you. All right. Right here. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, nice weekend to be a Georgia Bulldog, I guess. Uh, did you watch the game last night? What did you get up to last night uh, as you were preparing for today, knowing obviously you had such a big cushion? Yeah, I was in? playing while the game was going on, so I didn't get to see it. I heard on number. 13 or so that we were winning 21 to 3 so I was very happy to hear that um, it, it was actually a little bit surprising to know that we beat them or so handily I guess it got a little closer at the end but um, the dogs are playing great I'm still kind of living off of last year's national championship though um, but yeah it's 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 a fun time to be a Georgia fan uh, in terms of your uh, 54 hole leads, obviously you haven't been able to convert one uh, in a while, but you mm. did this week, obviously. Uh, do you feel like this was a bit of a monkey off your back scenario? With I do. Week? I mean, I've, I've just choked. You know, I've, the nerves have gotten to me and I've made bad mistakes, bad mental mistakes, and just haven't gotten it done um, on Sunday. And so um, put myself in position a decent amount, but just haven't gotten it done. So to come out and, and kind of do everything pretty well today, a tee to green and, and uh, keep it pretty clean and um, uh, just just play steady was what was nice and uh, you know I think I I don't think I would have done it unless I kind of failed so many times. <laughs> when that final putt dropped on 18 and you, and you won, what was the emotion like for you? What was kind of running through your? your yeah, mind? I mean, kind of walking up 18, I kind of felt like I wanted to cry a little bit. It was almost like uh, just a little bit of emotion, just just so, so much happiness. Um, looking back at the times where I kind of choked. I mean, I remember uh, at Greensboro um, a couple years ago, just should have easily won the tournament, was just playing great and didn't get it done. And just, it was such a, a tough feeling because I'd put in a lot of work like we all do and just, just uh, you know, choked. And um, so it was just a lot of emotion thinking about how those moments have kind of I'm still here. I'm still fighting, and uh, I just can't believe that I, I got it done. So I don't know. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> Go right over here. First of all, congratulations, and I want to know if you feel beast like a revenge in this course. Say it again. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Do you feel this is a revenge for you to come here again? Absolutely. Um, I love being here. I love the golf course. I love the resort. The food is awesome. The people are so nice. Um, and this is always one that I, I get excited about coming to. Uh, I can't say that about every event. Now, every tour event is great, but this one's very special. Uh, amazing location, very beautiful. 
Um, so really fun. But did you consider that you get your revenge because of what happened in 2019? I, I, I never really thought about it, um, to be honest. You know, I just felt like that was just some, just some weird stuff happening. But uh, I definitely don't regret turning myself in. I mean, I think that's, that's a, you know, what we're all supposed to do. But it was kind of a, in my opinion, a little bit of a stupid situation, um, considering I didn't know that I played a different ball. So it's not like I was intentionally doing anything wrong. But obviously you should always turn yourself in if you do something uh, against the rules. And I did. And I'm, I'm happy for that. And now I'm very happy. Can you tell us a little bit what happened on that tournament in 2019? And how yeah. was that you hit a, a different ball? Yeah, so Titleist makes uh, a lot of different balls, uh, prototype balls. And how they mark them, um, they'll put a little dot or a little dash next to where it says Pro V1 X on the ball. And so when I was signing my scorecard, I just looked down at the ball and for some reason, the Pro V1 X was facing me, and it had a little dot beside the Pro V1 X. And I thought, do all my balls have that dot? I just, I haven't even, I don't, I don't remember them having a dot. And so then I started comparing them to the other eight balls, and I was the only one with a dot. Turns out it's a prototype ball they make. I, I, I just played the 17 Pro V1 X. And um, so I told the rules official, and I changed balls about four times that day. So they, since, they said, since you don't know when you played it, we're going to give you a four-hole sh four penalty. So it's two shots a hole, eight shots. Trip back home to Columbus. <laughs> yep. Russell, congratulations. Uh, you hit a great second shot on number six after not so good second shot on number five. Can you take us through that moment in the round? Five yes. and six? Yes. Um, yeah, you know, number five, I, I hit a good drive. I was happy with the drive. Had some mud on the right side of the ball. And I tried to aim out to the right to, you know, give myself some room. Because um, typically when the mud's on the right side of the ball, it goes left. And I didn't aim far enough to the right. Um, maybe I didn't put a great swing on it. It's tough to know, but the ball just went left the whole way. And, and I don't really hit a shot like that too often, or haven't been lately. So it was frustrating. I feel like I maybe should have played a little more conservative than I did. I thought I made the right decision at the time. Um, but then, you know, after that, my caddy Andy just said, um, shake it off, let's just keep doing what we're doing. Because the first four and holes and then the tee shot on five, I hit a fairway and a green and gave myself a birdie putt and was playing well. So he said, let's just keep doing what we're doing. And I said, okay, you know, I'm just gonna keep fighting. Keep trying to hit fairways and greens, and um, it was nice to come back with a birdie on six. Russell, uh, congratulations here. Uh, after your fourth win on the PGA Tour, what would be the next goal? You have the majors inside. Obviously, you contended yeah. on the 2021 US Open um, and the other majors, but making a Ryder Cup team, what yeah. would be the goal for next year? I think I've always dreamed of winning a major and dreamed of making a Ryder Cup team or a President's Cup team. Um, those are high on the list. Um, I would love to do those things. I mean, you know, it's it's so hard to, to to make one of those teams and to win a major. I mean, it's just so hard to win out here. Everybody is so good and it's so competitive. Um, so, yeah, I definitely would like to do that. I'd like to just keep putting myself in position to win any tour event because they're just so difficult and, and it's so much fun, you know, to put yourself and see, kind of see what you're made of and see what your game is made of and see if the hard work you've put in has paid off. And that's kind of why we play. Hi, Robert. Ram, Ramon Trevino, were you looking for perfection knowing that you didn't, that you didn't bogey uh, in the three rounds? Were you looking for, for perfection this Sunday? No, I Absolutely. Remember. I mean, I, I thought I could do it. Um, I thought I thought I could do it. I, I was close to doing it, to, to having no bogeys. Um, but in reality, you know, it, it's it's pretty hard to do over the course of 72 holes, especially with how much water and hazards there are out here. Um, so I was definitely I definitely thought about it, but it didn't quite work out. <laughs> and kind of 
Fernando's question as well. Uh, do, do you think this win can be like a, a new part in your in your career, knowing that you started with three wins, very young age, in 2013, you, you were, I think, 23, 24, uh, and now with this win, you can have like another part of triumphs in your career? I don't know, I'm getting old. Uh, everybody's so young on the tour now, you know, everybody's in their early 20s and coming out ready to win majors, so um, I'm not really sure what the future holds. Uh, I feel like I have some great golf ahead of me, but um, I'm just going to try to keep doing what I'm doing and take care of my body, and Lord willing, I can just keep playing some good golf. Adam? Russell, are you, uh, are you kind of bummed that there's only two events left in, the, in this part of the season, or are you kind of ready for a break and, and can kind of lean into the holiday season? Yeah, the I haven't, yeah, I haven't played a ton this year. I um, had some family stuff going on this summer, and I've only played twice this, this season. Um, so I'm, I've been kind of excited to play, um, but just, uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, every tournament we play out here is, is a fun event. You know, every, everyone is... is is run so well like this one. So I'm always excited to play. It's just you can play too much. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think um, I think if I had it had it my way, you know, um, every event would, you know, be at an awesome location like this and super exciting. But, um, yeah, I, I'm excited to keep playing. I love playing on the PJ Tour. Anybody else? I'm sure you've won a lot of trophies. That's definitely a unique one uh, that you probably have. Your thoughts on the, the trophy creation? Yeah, it's awesome. My wife, uh, Teal, is an artist, and she's going to appreciate it a lot more than I can. Um, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, I, don't, I definitely have, don't have any trophies like this one, uh, that's for sure, and, and I'm excited to, to put it in the house. All right. Well, Russell, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you all.